Federal authorities shut down a Trumbull County manufacturer today. We have the details on First News at Noon. News since then, we talked to the IRS about why it was there. 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith has that story. Arriving early in the morning, agents with the FBI and IRS searched the headquarters of Warren Fabricating and Machining Wednesday. The plant was shut down for the day. IRS agent Craig Casterly says there's not much that he can say about the case. Uh, all I can say is we're on official business at this point and um, employees have been allowed to, to leave the facility. Company attorney Ian Friedman called the investigation a hiccup. The company is fully cooperating and uh, I'm very familiar with the situation and can uh, state unequivocally that uh, there's really nothing to see here. This is not the first time the company has dealt with the feds. This summer, former company CFO Paul Theisler was sentenced to two years in prison. He admitted stealing money from the company over his 38-year career. Friedman says the current search is not related to that earlier case. We're very confident that once uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office sifts through all uh, the documents and analyzes uh, this, that they'll also see that you know, there's nothing here, and this was merely just a precautionary measure. The attorney says it will be business as usual at the plant as of tomorrow morning. Now, this is not the only facility that federal agents are searching today. Agents searched a home owned by Regina Rebhen Mitchell, a former company executive. The Warren plant was not impacted today. There's no word on what was taken from the home or the Hubbard plant. In Trumbull County, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.